all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Boxing Will Weekly, speaking with the lightweight prospect, undefeated Canadian Eric Bastron, ahead of his fight on the undercard of Kim Claval versus Jessica Plata on December 1st in Montreal. And I'm going to start with where did the passion for boxing come from for you? Honestly, I've been doing martial arts from a young age. Started when I was four. And unfortunately, when I went to one gym, they said I was too young to do the kickboxing there. So I tried the boxing class out. And from day one, I just loved the sport. And of course, that has translated to a decorated amateur career and now, you know, kicking off the pro the pro game. But your pro start came a little later than most. You just started this year and you're 24 years old. What went into that? Yeah, so I was actually on Team Canada for four years. So I started when I was 18. And unfortunately, I was working all those years towards Olympics and I actually qualified for Olympics, but I actually tore my labrum. So I had to miss the Olympics, unfortunately. And uh I also want to make the transition into pro instead of waiting those extra four years for Olympics again. Does part of you kind of look at it as like a silver lining in a sense where, you know, the Olympics that you did miss out on were kind of ones that were hindered anyways? Yeah, it is kind of a silver lining and I just felt like it was my time to go pro. I've been wanting to go pro since I was 18, but I was just riding the wave of being on Team Canada and getting all that international experience and building my resume. When you became uh, a fan of participating in boxing, were you also a fan of watching it when you were younger? Oh yeah, I would just watch films on films every day. <laughs> <laughs> Who were some of the fighters that you would watch the most? Well, my favorite was Roy Jones and Sugar Ray Leonard. Those are my two favorites, but honestly, I'd watch majority of all boxers, just anybody that I could watch. <laughs> Do you think you've tried to uh, replicate your style after anybody? I wouldn't say replicate, but yeah, there's little hints of like, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roy Jones. There's there's a little bit into my style, but of course I have my own kind of boxing style that I've been working on since I was a kid. And yeah, I'll, I'll implicate some Roy Jones or uh, Sugar Ray Leonard in my style too. You were born uh, in BC, right? Yeah. And you decided to sign with the uh, Montreal promoter in gym, Group of Michel. What went into that decision? So I was out in Montreal for like four years while I was on Team Canada and there's a lot of boxing promoters that actually saw me coming up in the ranks and yeah we just went out there for a training camp before I turned pro and we set up some meetings with a few promoters and we didn't know if we were going to get the gym one but they were excited to sign me so we were just yeah we we're happy because I feel like they're the best promotion in Canada right now. Yeah they definitely have a very very good case in that argument. So now we're in your pro career, you're two, you're two fights in, heading into your third fight. How do you feel about that decision, going with Jim? I feel for right now, yeah, everything's been really smooth, everything's been really good, they've been treating me good, so just excited to see what's going to be in the future. Your upcoming fight is against a guy who was already on the card that you last fought on against a different undefeated Canadian prospect in Spencer Wilcox. He knocked him out, or he went to the, he went a uh, UD against him in, in four rounds. I want to know if you kind of look at that and, you know, think that, hmm, maybe I need to do better than that. I wouldn't necessarily say that I have to do better. I am doing a six rounder this time, so it's not going to be a four round fight. And I'm just training hard with my coach and I'm, I'm just happy what we're implementing into training. We're doing a lot of slowing down the pace, really getting to that pro style, choosing my shots wisely. So I'm just happy to show everybody what I've been training for. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, do you have a prediction on how that's going to go? I don't know. I, I just, I feel like I'm just going to box and do my thing and just everybody's going to see how, how much I've elevated my game. So I found this something very interesting uh, in regards to you. You look up your Instagram, you have 100,000 followers. Where do those come from? <laughs> so I actually have a social media manager. It's not me doing all those posts and everything. So <laughs> I'm just fortunate to have her. Uh, Rebecca, she's been doing a lot of stuff for me, so yeah, I appreciate everything she's done for me. And she's what's gotten you to 100k. Yeah, she's yeah, she's the one that really does all the posting, all the advertising for me. She does all that stuff, so yeah, I'm just really happy that she did that for me. That's phenomenal. I mean, do you kind of look at that as something that could be very much uh, beneficial to you and kind of work out uh, as something in your favor when it comes to the negotiation table down the road? For sure, I feel like it just will open up a lot of opportunities and everything. So. Yeah. Did you go out and search for a social media manager? Like, did you make that decision that you wanted one? 
No, so she actually is my coach's fiance. Oh. Yeah. So like the Quinnet boxing gym that I go to, my coach is John Quinnet. And uh, yeah, it's his fiance and it's just, we have a big team and everything's been working on good. Got a strength coach, got my uh, social media manager. We have a whole team around us and everybody's been really good. That's amazing. Three fights in 2022. How active would you like to be in 2023? I want to have, for right now, 2022, yeah, I've had three fights, but I want to be uh, about, I want to get four or five fights a year. Just try to stay pretty active. So see how it goes. Is there any plans on, uh, you know, going across any borders to, you know, fight some guys or, or right now you're just looking to stay in Canada? Well, right now, just with the promotion, most of the cards are going to be in Montreal, but uh, I heard that there might be a card in uh, Colombia in February. So if I can get on that, I'll be happy. The Oscar Rivas card, I imagine, is what they're talking about. Yes, the Oscar Rivas card. So if I can get <laughs> on that, I'll be very happy. Have you ever fought in Colombia? Not in Colombia, yeah. I've been in South America, though, but yeah, not Colombia yet. <laughs> uh, thoughts on the main event, Kim Clavel. How, how have you? Do you have a relationship with her? What do you think of her as a fighter? Yeah, so I was actually on Team Canada with her for her last year, and it was my first year. So I actually saw her at the Continental Championships fighting and all that. And yeah, she has what it takes to for sure take over that division fully. <laughs> <laughs> do you see? I've kind of been planting a seed in uh, between her and Sinicia Estrada, as eventually those two should meet up for. You know, whether it's, you know, undisputed versus undisputed or whatever it is at a catch weight or maybe one goes to one different division. Do you think that Kim Clavel could beat who right now is probably number five or six on the pound for pound list in Sinicia Estrada? I think she could beat anybody that she's put up against. So, yeah, for sure. <laughs> have you watched, have you watched her fight before? Yeah, I've watched her professionally fight a few times. That's awesome. That's awesome. So with your social media, it was pretty hard. I was pretty hard pressed to find literally anything else you do in your life. So what are some hobbies that you do in your free time? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not going to lie. We're always busy just working. So when I get free time, I'm just like hanging out with my friends, hanging out with family. I'm, I'm a pretty simple guy. You mean working in the gym or do you have a do you have a different job as well? I just uh, right for right now, I'm just doing my pro boxing. But on the side, I do do personal training, too. Just like when I get busy with my training camps, it's hard to have a full-time job and stuff like that. So I just, I always do personal training on the side. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you have, uh, do you have a kid or, or, or you know, a, a wife or? <laughs> Not right now, man. Just the box is my wife right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good line. Uh, to finish things off here, for the people that haven't had the pleasure of watching you just yet, what would you say, what, how would you describe yourself as a fighter to them? I'll say I'm a, I'm a mover boxer and I got quick hand speed, quick uh, quick foot movement, and uh, I say I pack a punch. I wouldn't say I'm a I'm a big, big, like heavy puncher, but I, I pack like I sting with my shots for sure. <laughs> That's awesome, Eric. I really appreciate you taking the time today. I'm gonna be there on December first, so I'll get to talk to you in person before the fight, of course. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to watch you live. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.